Hello everybody. Castalian Visions sent me a picture of a Greek column and asked how I would model this. Since I had similar other requests like the neck of a violin or uh, an old chair with uh, the same shape, I thought I would do such a tutorial. So I start with one of my presets, this spiral here. I'm afraid if you don't know how to make such a spiral, you have to watch my first spiral shapes video. So here I select two polygons, up arrow key and select to about here. Invert this selection and delete. Now I can go to Vertex, set position, zero on the Y. And now I need to make this a bit wider. So up arrow key again, and then the Z key, right click to activate the tool, Action Center Origin, and R key on the green circle, and bring this to about here. Now we can delete these edges here and add a single edge in here and press the B key with the round level of zero and by beveling a curve it is possible to make uh, some geometry which has exactly the same width all around this is not possible with other methods, at least not with other ones I know of. Now we can invert the selection again and delete and we have a perfect spiral. The only thing which is not so perfect is uh, that these edges do not match up with each other and since we have to fill this I will use this one as a cutter for a boolean operation. So go to polygon mode, shift X and bring this down and W key bring it up a bit. Then I can go to my empty mesh top view, go to the basic, take a circle. I use 16 edges, bring it out from the middle here and make it one meter by one meter and put everything in the middle. Then I can go to polygon spiky, then mesh edit solid drill stencil OK and then I can go and delete this. We don't need it anymore and I have now uh, the right geometry for what I'm planning to do. So up to about here, invert the selection again and delete. The only problem, and this started with Modo 601, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, because if I look at the vertices here, you see we have the vertices from the cutting object as well as from the object which has been cut. So we only need the ones and I think it's a bug because in Modo 501 it behaves differently. But anyway, it's easy to clean this up. Go to the statistics, vertices by edge and select all the vertices which have only two edges. We need some of these, namely the start here and the very end. And all the rest we can backspace delete. And now this is what I wanted. So next I press the end key for a new mesh, go back to the basics and make a new cylinder by control 
left click this and bring this to about here yes and zero here and then we can go back to our initial mesh and do another boolean operation we can also do it here on geometry boolean solid drill stencil okay um, then I can clean this up let's see uh, this vertex goes to here and then we can delete the parts inside the cylinder okay delete this delete this one as well and bring this vertex to here and let's fill this hole by getting control x delete this go back to my mesh control v then vertex set position zero on the y and merge automatic six have merged let's check this so here we have a little bit of a problem um, this one goes to here and let's see that's good better and here I believe I join these two so vertex join averaged and now I can put in a bevel here about so and delete this I will have a triangle here which can easily be fixed and I will remove this edge here because the angon is less of a problem than having this spider here so in fact i can delete all of these so here we have an angon and you know what i don't care doesn't matter not a problem at all so now i can add in a bridge and then select all these edges, deselect the start and the end and bridge the rest together and I would like to see this in front view not in top view so E key but with action center origin E key to rotate and I rotate this 90 degrees now I should be able to watch it from the front and control rotate it by 90 degrees as well here and we don't need to see the vertices and now we can start to uh, shape this so I select all these edges Z key bring it to here R key but with action center default and I need this one here L and this one which means we can uh, change the position of this vertex here so it is a little bit less critical so T key move this vertex to here in the middle this one to here like so okay uh, now we can put the middle thing in bridge this alt c count of three with uh, sorry uniform take this middle one r key 
and pull it out to about here and we can select these edges bridge select these edges and bridge and put a polygon in here by using the P key okay now I think I add some more edges here so control boundary B for bevel with a round level of 1 and make a little bevel here like so then shift up arrow and sh shift A to center the selected view and then the radial fall off from the middle to about here so 166 seems to be okay then we can go to perspective W key and pull this out okay let's see looks good and now we can form the rest so L then shift click this part shift X or B for bevel doesn't matter which one because it's straight and I bevel this in by minus 40 drop the tool delete these unneeded polygons then um, I select an edge in here and another one in here sorry here and here and alt c with the count of two and symmetry bring this out to about here let's have a look yeah that looks good next i bring in the grid and go to front view so I have an idea about how big I have to make this so this is about two four six seven okay then we can go to duplicate mirror on X apply and select these and bridge and backspace delete then I add in uh, five edges uniform and maybe it's better I look at this uh, by hitting the tab key and subdivide it and I select these polygons here W bring them down a bit then I select these polygons W bring them down a bit also select this middle edge here W and bring it down just a little bit so we get this roundish shape i could have done this with fall offs or so but remember this has been done by human beings with a hammer and a chisel and uh, it has not been done uh, by a machine so we may have these little things anyway top view Okay, I said we had seven by about 200 millimeters, so W key to about here, then duplicate mirror about Z, apply, and then we can get rid of the grid, go out of sub D mode by hitting the tab key, bridging these and add two edges in here two and symmetry and bring them out as far as it goes 
add another two in here alt c not that far like about so and then i think i need i go to symmetry on x i need an edge in here and then select these polygons shift x bring them up let's see maybe a bit more like so then we can add other edges here we'll see again here and a single one in here like so let's see mm. uh, these two edges have disturbed the flow of this and i don't like that so let's delete these ones that's already better but it's still not good and these ones as well i go up with the subdivision level to four and we need an edge up here ah but that's easy to do so put an edge in here c key for edge slice and slice an edge in here do we have quads again shift click put an edge in here and it has done it on the other side as well so good now the top is done let's do the bottom and for that i need more i need more geometry so i put in alt c count of five and uniform then we can select these polygons here shift x is better than bevel and bring it down to here r key to flatten it out w mm, no that's good that's good then i delete this and then we can make a circle so shift f5 to go to our scripts directory and select the right perfect circle let's have a look from top e key and go out of symmetry and then i can rotate this a little bit like so when you do this then z key always remember that it has to be done with a chisel and a hammer and think if it is possible to do it like this and i think i make this smaller it also looks too big l key r key on the green circle here and i think this looks much more elegant okay now we can bring this one further down go out of sub d mode and then i add a single edge in here like so and then another one in here alt c count of one b for bevel with a round level of two and pull this out to about here shift click to reactivate the bevel tool but go down with the round level to one and like this now i can select two polys in here press the l key r again on the green circle bring this out to about here let's see how it looks good r key again just a tiny bit 
like so. So it's nice and round and we have sharp corners. I do the same up here also, just to make the geometry looking a bit more interesting. So Alt-C, count of 1, B for bevel, but with a round level of 2. Then uh, bring this to here. Shift click, go down with the round level to 1 and bevel this. Now we can select to here, L key, R key again, bring this out a bit here and in top view. Let's see to about, come on. here, mm, like so, good, now let's see, yes, looks nice, you can also, of course, uh, we could have bent this, you can add all sorts of additional decoration in here, I will not do it for time reasons, but what I want to do is make the bottom of this, so I need an other edge here. Then I can select all these polygons, L key, B for bevel without group polygons. Click in here and bevel this in. Shift click, bevel it on the blue handle, just a tiny bit, drop the tool, deselect everything. Now I can select this polygons and up arrow key. Uh, I forgot something. We go to front view, shift C and make a straight cut through here. Then uh, maybe a bit higher up like so. Then I select these polygons up arrow key and then perspective R key and on this middle circle I that's not what I intended I go here to 85% let's see yeah that's not bad we don't need this bottom polygon so I delete them and I can now add a new edge in here and we can position it so that we are happy with the rounding here like about so drop the tool and here it is it's done this is how I would model a Greek column so R key W Let's make a quick render, A key, and I use uh, plastic material and uh, environment, this one, render, and I would like to also render it with uh, render level of 4 like so and make it a bit bigger 1280 by 720 so we can use it as the YouTube preview and that's okay like this so F9 and render it And here we are. This is a Greek column, or at least the top of it. And uh, by the way, I 3D printed this and it looks very pretty. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.